So this is what Freddy Krueger would look like if he was made by Fisher Price. Actually, no. Here's your look at the new Funko Horror 5 Star Freddy Krueger. We've already had a look at the five-star Friday 13th Jason Voorhees. Freddy Krueger here doesn't come with much in the way of accessories, but he does come with the interchangeable hands from A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, The Dream Warriors. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is take the Ultra Mesotron 5000s. That's what we call it here. We're going to put it right to the very top of Freddy's fedora. It is not removable, by the way. Oh, I just gave it away. No, it's not, it's not removable. 3.6 inches is the very tiny Freddy Krueger, which works out in centimeters to be just shy of 10 centimeters tall. If I was to be more exact, I would say it's 9.1 centimeters high. Here's what little Freddy looks like next to little Jason, which we've already had a look at on this channel. I guess height-wise, they're about the same. I'll put them side by side. Even though Freddy technically, I didn't realize he was that much shorter, even though he does technically have a fedora, you can see that Jason is still quite a bit taller than him. Or I guess if we are to assume Freddy's got one big giant melon head underneath all that. Maybe that is all of his head and not necessarily his fedora. But there are the two figures so far. Gotta level with you guys. I'm not feeling this line. I might have picked up Jason just because I liked Jason. But I think if I wasn't reviewing these necessarily, in all honesty, I don't think I would be reviewing them. Hey, that's a good way to start. Let's have a look at Freddy's accessories. Okay, so for Freddy's accessories, he comes with, as alluded at the beginning of this review, with the syringe fingers. Want to get high? Apparently you can, thanks to Funko. Oh, that's not going to work well. But you can take these hands and you pop them into the sockets, the arms, that is, of Freddy's torso. Well, the sides of his torso. Uh, they're, they're okay. Um, one of the big problems I have with it, though, is it seems that these are painted clear, or slightly clear, sort of aqua clear, translucent plastic. That worries me though, longevity wise, certainly if you're gonna be popping these off and putting them in frequently, anyone who has handled clear plastic before knows that they're susceptible to splitting and cracking, even breaking right off. So I'm gonna do this, but I probably will decide one way or another which route I wanna go with and just stick with that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab Freddy. I'm gonna take his hands off. They're not the easiest either to handle. Just kind of sort of wiggle them off. Wiggling off also is something that worries me too because if they get stuck in the socket and you start rotating it, you're thinking to yourself, I'm making progress. What you may not realize though is that you're shredding or twisting the, fab the plastic until the point where it breaks off. So you wanna just be careful when you're doing this. Taking the hands and popping them off both ends. You can also little trick you can also heat these up not in the microwave mind you but you can put the sockets and the ball joints in hot water and it should be a little easier to take them off and replace them needless to say we're going to take the gloved hand that has the syringes not liking the fact that they're clear plastic let's listen to this guy he's just complaining about clear plastic well i don't want to be the guy that says i told you so so i'm not going to be the guy that says i told you so I'm just saying clear plastic never seems to work well. There you go. Okay, so either way, there is Freddy with his hands in place. You could technically rotate the hands to the sense that you can do the want to get high. The syringes, of course, are stumpy and dull. They would not be a longer needle because they would be breaking quite frequently. I guess for what they are, they're not terrible. Or again, if you want the alternative, there's the gloved Freddy hand. I guess it depends on how many of these there are they plan on releasing. If they only release, say, one Freddy, 
personally speaking, I would probably go with the gloved hand myself. It's entirely up to you. So having a look at these, okay, well we started the review on a rather low. This guy seems like he's really not digging these. This guy really isn't digging these. And I'm in the room, so we don't have to, put, don't have to say like that guy. I'm not really digging this line. I don't know what it really is supposed to be, but I guess for some people that want cuter versions of Freddy Krueger, this sort of meets those requirements, but I'm not personally loving this line. At the very least, being that they've sort of covered the territories with vinyls, dorbs, mystery minis, uh, and then of course the, the new vinyls, that would be V-Y-N-L-S vinyls, I don't really think this market is requiring these unless you were doing something overly crazy, like a caricature. A caricature, by the way, is a drawn image of somebody where they exaggerate certain features to them that they think are, I guess, what would be making up more. Like if you're known for a big nose, a caricature would do a big nose version of you. I know they're harsh, horrible people. But I would almost do these as caricatures than it would do anything else. I would give Freddy like a big giant glove, uh, maybe narrow face, very pointy nose. I would do something a little bit more crazy if I wanted this line to be something different. The biggest problem I have is this line feels like every other of the Funko's line, other than the fact that maybe okay, we could chalk it up to the fact that Freddy's face is a little cuter than normal. It still sort of looks like a peanut. Doesn't it look like a peanut? Uh, the skin, of course, is scarred. News flash to anybody. Freddy got burned. <gasps> oh no, I just gave it away. <laughs> I'm you wouldn't probably be watching this review if you didn't if you didn't like Freddy Krueger. His teeth are really gross. His teeth look like he's been eating like peanut butter and he hasn't properly washed his teeth. They're all very yellow and very discolored. Some of the teeth are a little bit lighter than others. That kind of looks like a mouthful of cream corn. Uh, his eyes have this cute sort of factor to it, I guess in the same vein that Jason has a cute factor to it. Very piercing blue eyes. I commented before when we looked at this guy that these sort of look like something you would go into a greeting card store and see these in glass cabinets as those keepsake dolls. They're cute, but I guess that meets a criteria if somebody is really wanting a cute version of these characters. As I've already discussed, the fedora is not removable. You could do this until the cows come home, Jack. That fedora isn't going anywhere. If it was, that would be calling breaking it. You would have broken it. Texturing on his sweater is actually quite good. I feel like the texturing is a little broad for the proportions of how small the sweater actually is, but that's just generally nitpicking by then. I don't want to sound like I'm an absolute jerk. Um, I do like the fact that the sweater is frayed and sort of just kind of roughed up at the bottom there. It looks like it's just been ripped and torn, as well as the same could be said for the top of the collar as well. And he's also got that in his sleeves. I mean, from a design standpoint, it's not a bad figure. The biggest thing for me, and the deal breaker, I suppose, for me, is that I just don't feel so excited behind these. Normally, I have to have passion behind what I'm collecting. These would certainly be cases where I would just be picking them up to review. I can't see myself probably picking these up. I mean, the Jason was a passable release of Jason, but again, I, I don't personally like the cute versions of these myself. And seeing as we've already gotten so much of the Funko stuff in this same, same sort of design, I really feel like this is, I don't know what this line exists to be. Unsubscribe, 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 unsubscribe. Please stay around. I'm, just my opinion. So articulation on this guy, his head rotates all the way around. His arms rotate back and forth. And I guess you can also rotate the hands. So if piano playing Freddy wants to play those ivories, you can rotate the hands and you could sort of mimic him doing that. Um, he doesn't have any waist articulation. I guess I would be asking a whole lot to give this guy waist articulation. At the end of the day, I chalk this guy up to being Cute Freddy. If Cute Freddy is the thing for you, like if you've sort of been looking at an empty space on your shelf thinking, if only I could fill that with a cute small version of Freddy, you're welcome. You can thank Funko for this. Again, I might be overly harsh on this line. Maybe I'm not giving this line a fair shake. And I guess the problem is it's the fact that Funko is making it. 
I mentioned when I had a look at the Jason Voorhees that if, say, NECA was producing this, if I looked at the package and across it was NECA and they were calling it, I have no idea, Cute Killers, that's a really bad name. You can tell I've been in marketing. If they called it something like that, NECA is known for doing one thing, so this would be a drastically different direction, a different approach for them. But Funko is already doing this stuff. We've seen this. I mean, this really, when it comes down to it at the very end of the day, which, by the way, the end of the day is it's about half day for me. By, by the end of the day, though, I mean, we've already got enough dorbs and other things that NECA has produced. This sort of boils down to either a really small rock candy figure, which are really kind of looking the same as this, a smaller version of rock candy, or a more poseable, more detailed version of a dorb. Again, I really don't know what Funko was producing with this. They need to really expand and do something different. Mezco, of all the companies that I would use as an example, but Mezco is taking a property and doing different things with it. Jack in the Boxes, for example, they're doing of different horror characters. Funko, I feel like, is just sort of playing safe with this line. This line doesn't really know what it wants to be. At the end of the day, like I said, it just boils down to smaller versions of things that they're already releasing with quote-unquote accessories. At the very least, Freddy does have accessories that he can actually use. Jason, I'm looking in your direction. But I guess if this is your thing and you like cute versions of horror characters, this fits that niche. It doesn't fit mine, though. I just, again, if I wasn't necessarily reviewing these, I probably wouldn't have picked them up. And sometimes, as a reviewer, doing this thing on YouTube, you do pick up stuff that you'd like to showcase to the viewers. Sort of the price you pay to see that other people can see some of the collectibles that are out on the market. Luckily, these aren't an overly expensive lineup. I think the price point for the horror five stars are about $10, 10 to $12. Which even then, on their own, that seems really expensive, considering they're doing the pop vinyl figures at a much bigger size for about the same price point. So take what little advice I can offer you at the end of Final Looks here. Pick this up if you really like Cute Freddy. But overally, I just feel like NECA's already sort of covered this territory and they're treading it again, simply calling it a different title. And that title, by the way, is the Five Star, which we were having a look at today. This was the new Funko Five Star Horror Characters and this was, I guess, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, The Dream Warriors, Freddy Krueger, being the fact that he has the syringe fingers. Am I being hard, guys? Let me know down below in the comments section what you think of the five-star figures. Do you think it's a, do you even think it's a property that's worth covering? NECA has done so much already with these characters. Is it worth treading on him again? Personally speaking, I think they should just stick with vinyls. Vinyls are very differently sculpted, very overly proportioned to some of the stuff that they're already making. This, again, just feels like small, raw candy figures. Either way, guys, let me know down below. I always like reading your comments and hearing what you guys think about some of these things that we look at on this channel. If you'd like to see some more things covered on this channel and you haven't hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? Certainly, more videos will be coming your way. And make sure while you're at it, like I said, you hit that subscribe button, but also hit that bell notification. That will guarantee you, or somewhat guarantee you, that when new videos are coming to this channel, you'll never miss out. And you'll still probably miss out because some people are saying that they still aren't seeing all the videos that they're posting or that content creators are posting. Oh, YouTube. Either way, guys, more videos will coming, be coming your way. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.